Hello everyone, Whippy here with a tutorial on how to set up Forge with Eclipse. Before you can follow this tutorial, make sure you follow the tutorial on how to set up the JDK. Um, if you have already followed the tutorial about how to set up Forge with IntelliJ, you may want to skip this video. At this point you have to make a choice between Eclipse and IntelliJ. These are the two supported IDEs, Integrated Development Environments, for Forge. There are several others for Java, but those aren't supported by, by Forge. You could also use text editors to program for Forge, but that is really complicated and only uh, possible for really, really advanced programmers who will tell you that you're basically crazy if you don't want to use an IDE. Whether you should choose for Eclipse or IntelliJ comes completely down to your personal preferences. Personally, I prefer Eclipse while my time prefers IntelliJ. If there are any tutorials which are different based on your IDE, we will clearly uh, describe it and usually we'll make two different tutorials uh, just like we did for setting up Eclipse and setting up IntelliJ. So let's get started right now by setting up Forge with Eclipse. On the screen you can see uh, the text version of this tutorial. Um, you may want to open this, uh, a link is in the description of the video and you may want to read along. The text may not be exactly the same, but it will cover the same, um, same steps. The first thing you have to do when you set up Eclipse and Forge is to actually download both of these programs. The links to this will be in the description of the video as well as on this tutorial. First of all, Eclipse on eclipse.org slash downloads. On the right, choose the release for Windows, Linux or Mac and then simply get the version for your system. Make sure you get Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. <coughs> Next, go to files.minecraftforge.net, which is this link right here, where you can download your version of Forge. There are two versions you could use, the latest or the recommended. I personally prefer the latest because it has most of the features and it has more bug fixes than the recommended version. However, it can also contain more bugs than the latest, than, than the recommended, I mean. You can also go to the forum and go to releases right here, but going to files.microforge.net is just a little bit uh, faster. I will not download any of these things uh, in this video because it will just take time and I've already downloaded them. Um, if you get Eclipse, it will be a .zip file, which you need to extract somewhere in a place where you can easily find it later. In my case, I've done it in a folder called Programming, and um, if you extract it, you'll find fig um, f folders and files like this. Eclipse application file is the only important file in this entire folder. Uh, you may want to add a shortcut to this uh, program on your desktop, uh, so you can easily access Eclipse. Here is my Forge, Forge source version. Make sure you check again that it's the source version and not any of the others, or the following steps will not work. What you have to do is, just like with Eclipse, extract it in a folder and then open it up. In here you can see Eclipse, Gradle, Source, Build and most importantly Gradle W. Now shift right click to open a command window here. If you're not on Windows you have to do this another way, but you basically have to open a terminal or a command window in this exact folder with the Gradle W.bat file. Then in the command window or terminal, write Grail W, set up dcom workspace, eclipse, dash dash refresh, dash dependencies, and run this. This will take about, uh, well, it depends on your system. On my system, it will take about five minutes, but on slower systems, especially with slower internet, it may take a lot longer. Um, you have to just wait for this to, to complete. And once it's done, it will have everything set up and you can start um, writing mods right away. This command ran in just over two minutes on my PC, but in some cases it will just take longer because certain websites will be slower, uh, internet speeds may vary. Uh, what you have to do now is double click the Eclipse application, or shortcut you made, and then click on Browse. Then go to the um, place where you installed Forge in my case the desktop, then open up the folder called forge-1710 etc and then select the folder Eclipse. Make sure you don't select any folders within it and then click OK. Then check here that it's forge-version-1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
slash eclipse and nothing else behind that. Then click OK. And this will take a few seconds, at which point Eclipse will start up and you will see uh, the place where you will be coding in. On the left, the Project Explorer with the Minecraft package and Source Main Java with an example mod and Source Main Resources, which is the folder where you, can, you will put all your resources and the Forge source, which is Forge and FML and Minecraft, all the source code right here. You can't edit it, but you can you can read it. <coughs> on the right, we've got the outline with the uh, variables and methods. On the bottom, we've got various other things such as the console and the markers, which is the two will, which you will be using most. And the most important button of all, the green run arrow. Right click the arrow, uh, left click the arrow just to the right of it, and select client, which will run the Minecraft client. In the in the console, you'll see all kinds of messages errors and info etc you don't really have to worry about it unless it looks red in which case you have got a crash minecraft 1.7.10 will start uh, let's just maximize this window real quick and if we wait for it to finish we can see that it has installed four mods i think mcp fml forge and the example mod mcp fml forge and the example mod let me just turn down the sound real quick. And well, that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, I will not actually be using this exact setup, but one which also contains all of my other mods, so I can easily reference code I already made. But this is the workspace you'll be working in. I hope you enjoyed this video.